So happy you're here today, and if it's your first time watching, welcome. So today we are going to be working on dry mouths. We are going to do a couple different things. We're going to do some line drawings. We're going to trace over some other images so you can see how to find the lines that you're going to want to notice in both teeth and lips. So all you need for today is either a pencil or a pen. Um, if you have any ways to grab that or use the one on your pencil and that's all so let's get started okay so for today's class and lesson i wanted to show you how you can look at other pictures and photographs of mouths and decide how to do a line drawing so i thought the easiest way to do that was i'm literally just going to trace over them so you can start to see where I get the line drawings from when I'm doing it. And you can start to notice these same lines, highlights, lowlights, shadows, things like that in the photographs or the images that you're working off of. You are welcome to grab a pen or pencil and paper and just recreate these mouths on your own paper just the line drawings that I have here. You can pause this video at any time and just practice different mouth shapes. Mouths are one of those things that we all think we know exactly what they look like. But when we look individually at any one mouth, there's always details that are a little different than maybe what we picture in our minds. The way that the lips come together, the way that the outer mouth curves, some people might have a mole or a dimple in their smile. So here's another one, a smiling one. You can see too how that upper lip, the top is almost straight other than that V that dips down in the middle. In this one, you could also choose if you wanted to the lines that go out into the smile marks in the cheeks. Now, when a mouth is open and there's teeth showing, it can be a little intimidating. And also knowing where do you fill in with the darker color on the edges there where his teeth disappear a little into the back of his mouth. So I'll kind of show you one way that you can do that. So especially when you're drawing teeth, you want to minimize you want to minimize the any imperfections while still making it look like that person's teeth. Don't mind my dog that barked in the background there. So we're the gum line is very important on how that meets the teeth. I am showing the slants to the teeth the outlines to the teeth, but minimizing any dramatic angles if I can. And of course, if you're doing this with a pencil, this is always easier where you have a thinner line to work with. The thicker the line that you're drawing with, sometimes the harder it is to really get to show exactly an accurate way you would like to portray it. So those lines going up from the teeth are just kind of showing the ridges in the gums. And then lightly doing some lines to imply the bottom teeth. We want to do as little shadowing as possible inside the mouth 
shadowing teeth is really a little bit more tricky and we'll work on that in our teeth shading video we have coming up. So this is the same mouth, just two different poses. You can see how different a mouth looks versus just how someone's lips may be positioned. So you can go ahead and pause this if you want and recreate those on your paper. Just kind of showing how on the other one that lip pops out a lot further than on the second one, but they're both the same person. And most likely if you look at the rest of the face, the, the expression would be a little different on the first versus the second as well. So it would all really blend together. So looking at a few of these here and then all five. So you're welcome to pause this video and recreate any of these smiles. You can also look in the mirror and draw your own smile or look at photographs. I was on a walk in our woods the other night and all the ducks and chickens were out there and I thought it was so cute. So I recorded it for you. Our next video we're going to work on more with the mouth with shading and everything. So I can't wait to do that with you. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a really wonderful day. Bye.